Hey, good evening everyone. The road to winning a blue map continuing today for five teams down in Birmingham. Starting the day were the Lady Colts of Clements. Coach Shane Childress and his team taking on Pike County, the champs from the South Regional. Clements getting off to a great start off the miss. Here comes Taylor Forer taking it coast to coast for the bucket. Clements up seven to nothing. Now Pike County, they will respond to Nia Green getting behind the Clements defense and she will get the easy layup right here, but her team still trail by five at that point, but this game was truly never close, and that was a theme today in Birmingham. Fora coming up oh, with the easy basket as she is out in front of everyone. 12 points this morning for her. Clements advances to the girls' class 3A championship with a 56 to 25 win over Pike County. I want to blame you boys entering today with two wins away from getting another state championship. Third quarter, Plainview taking on uh, Sumter Central. Luke Smith lays it in to give them an eight point lead. A little bit later, though, the Jaguars starting to cut into that lead. Emmanuel Clarton coming through, pulls up and sinks the jumper right here for his squad. Then about three minutes later, the first shot is no good, but Keontes Giles grabs the offensive rebound and puts it back for two. It's a four point game, but Plainview's Bears pull away. Dylan Heyman with a cross court dish to Jonah Williams for three and it is good. The Bears are back in the 3A state title game with a 55 to 41 win. They'll take on midfield on Friday afternoon. How about the Priceville girls playing in their first ever state semifinal game? They were taking on UMS right. Grayson Pratter spins, changes directors, goes all the way for the cup right here. Priceville up by 11. Prater had 12. A little later, it'll be the Lady Bulldogs forcing the turnover. Prater steals it, gets it up to Abby Langwa, and the layup is good. Priceville up by 13. It ends up being a historic day for the, Pratt, for the Priceville girls. Prater finds Leslie Hames on the wing. She connects from deep, and that is three of her game high 15 points. And Coach Terry Nelson and those Lady Bulldogs will playing their first ever championship on Friday. Congratulations to them as they beat UMS right by 20 points. The New Hope girls hoping to meet Priceville in that same title game, but to do so, the Lady Indians would uh, have to get through Prattville Christian. It's not an easy task. Avery Rogers makes the outside shot. Lady Panthers up by seven in the fourth. Some nice offense here for the Tribe. Hoping to reach their first title game since 1986. Jada Bates converts the tough basket, but the Lady Panthers making all the shots they need Coco Thomas laying it in. She was named the star of the game. 20 points, 19 boards, and New Hope season comes to an end. Prattville Christian advances with a 52 to 37 victory. How about top rank Westminster Christian looking to go to the 4A title game. Uh, they dominated this one from the start against Montgomery Catholic. Eric Roberts gets it to Caden Ricard. He scores. Wildcats led 45 to 8 in the third quarter. Then, under a minute to go, Jackson Heyman dumps it to Chase McCarty, who pulls up and sinks the mid range jumper. McCarty scoring a game high 17 points. He didn't even play in the fourth quarter, everyone. They are up by 39. Ricard to Hammond. He rocks the rim right here. The second of his two dunks. And Coach Rodney Stapler and those top ranked Wildcats destroy Montgomery Catholic 61 to 28. They will play in the state championship game on Friday.